I just knew that there had to be more to life than that kind of hamster wheel of chasing money. I just really wanted to genuinely be happy and genuinely make a difference in this world and be more conscious and live a good life and try to make a good stamp on this world. I didn't really have a concrete plan of what I wanted to do. So after I graduated, I knew that I was going to want to experience something different and I really wanted to go west. We ended up meeting and really just hit it off. And eventually we decided not too long after we met that it was, it was gonna be something that we wanted to pursue together. And that's how it started. Hey guys, so I'm Alyssa. I'm Dan. And we're from The Lucky Bus. We have been full time on the road for 10 months now. And initially it was gonna be a year, but we don't really see an end in sight. Yeah, so the bus is a 2003 Ford E450, 73 liter diesel engine. Mm -hmm. And she's 22 feet long and we have almost exactly 100 square feet of living space. Yep currently at 150,000 miles, give or take a few. Yep, she's running great. Running strong, <laughs> yep, just getting broken in. Yep. <laughs> So the tour really begins here. Um, the door is one of the first things people notice. Um, and we decided to go with a mobile home exterior grade door. So the hinges are secured from the inside. It is double pane plexi and we have the deadbolt here. Um, mm -hmm. So it really just makes the bus way more secure and way more energy efficient. Our side doors were originally pretty drafty um, so that it was hard to temperature control. So we went with this. Okay, so welcome to our crib. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. So this is our living room area. Um, so for the couch, we really wanted it to be storage focused because it's only 100 square feet of living space in here. Um, so it opens up here, of course. We have all the storage underneath. Mm -hmm. um, we also have storage in the back, which is excellent. Um, so a lot of work supplies and papers and stuff go back here. Yep. Um, and we also have more storage in the arm up here yep so pretty much every crevice <laughs> of the couch is also storage which yeah is, which is huge for us yes it is and then of course we have the cup holders built in because it's a moving vehicle so don't <laughs> yeah. want to be a total mess yeah. <laughs> these initially i put in here as um, foot rests however they're not really long enough so what i use now is this is our temporary table so i'll just throw a pillow on the ground sit here and i can use this as a work desk so i'll put my laptop out do my work um, or just eat a quick meal here um, it's a really just quick easy way to have a dinette without taking out our bigger table that's in the closet mm -hmm. Uh, and then over here is our kitchen. So we went with a really beautiful um, butcher block countertop. This was kind of the design piece that inspired the rest of the bus. Mm -hmm. um, so it is from scrap wood, which is so beautifully made. Um, and we went with an undermount sink. That way we have this cover and we can use this for countertop space when we're not using the sink. Um, again, no dead space anywhere in this bus. Yeah. Yeah, and another thing that gives us a little more countertop space is the undermount fridge yes. as well. So it's a side by side fridge and freezer. Yeah, which we is have a freezer. Hard to come by. Um, so yeah, it's 5.5 cubic feet. It's made by Avanti because people always ask us what <laughs> brand the fridge is. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's a hot commodity. <laughs> yep. Uh, and then we got the toaster oven and microwave. And so all of this stuff works off our solar system. Mm -hmm. We have 600 watts of panels on the roof, 600 amp hours of battery, uh, supplying power to all these things. Uh, so we're totally off grid, self sufficient, and it's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty amazing that we can just zap a burrito if we want to, or have ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> it's really crazy. Underneath here, we also have a couple of drawers, um, which store a lot of pots and pans, kettles, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have a trash can slider. So yep, trash right and recycling. With, um, yep, trash and recycling. Mm -hmm. One thing I do wish that we had done a little bit better or planned for was our utensils because it's kind of like a mess up there we have a little basket <laughs> for all our utensils so the thing that we want to do to fix that is probably just cut some holes in the window sills right there and put little containers inside yep so that we can better manage our utensils because yeah that gets pretty frustrating <laughs> so we got uh our pantry here yes a little overhead cabinet unit 
Yes, on this note, we specifically designed an above ground pantry uh, because we do not want to attract critters. Um, unfortunately, we had one critter in here once, and that was when, of course, the one time we put snacks down here, and he got in, but mm -hmm. he's a since mouse. left. He has since left, thank gosh. Thankfully, he couldn't get into here. Yeah, so, so our pantry was safe. Yeah. yeah. And then this is what Dan calls our foyer here. And that's just a kind of catch-all for shoes, hats, gloves, um, sunscreen, jackets, things like that. So we went with a bamboo floor, which is more scratch resistant, water resistant, and slightly flexible. Um, so having that um, in a bus when you're always tracking stuff in has been honestly such a blessing. They look pristine all the time and I've seen yeah, terrible I mean. cases of laminate floors warping and I always feel so bad um, but these floors have treated us so well and they're just absolutely beautiful yeah in my we've opinion. had thousands of people in this bus literally and yes. the floors still look almost brand new okay so the next room is the bathroom even though we only have a hundred square feet of living space it was really important to me um, that we have a fully functioning bathroom on board that way I don't have to worry where I'm gonna get my next shower or when I can use the restroom so we have a nature's head composting toilet Toilet, and it is a wet bath, so just like you would do in a boat or some RVs. Um, and we went with the stainless or the corrugated tin um, just because it's really lightweight. We thought it was a fun design feature and it's super easy to clean. So we have 50 gallons of fresh water on board, which is plenty for the two of us. We can go two weeks, no problem. Um, we usually shower the two of us shower like probably every four days, yeah. um, which is like Real, like cleaning your hair and all of that um, and that'll last us about two weeks yeah. which is fantastic okay so this is our closet um, first off we started with we created these custom doors frosted doors which I absolutely love again not having a dead space that's not creative or not serving a purpose um, so I really love this because it made it feel more open and it's just a really beautiful design so in here, we really have a ton of closet space. Honestly, more than we need, which is never something you would think of. Um, but we have three drawers each. We also have all this hanging storage. And then we have these open shelves, which holds our curtains and some toiletries and the Coco Coyer. Um, yeah, and then we have the extra paper towels and shoes under there. So we honestly haven't even filled this up. Um, yeah. We're lucky with closets, but we're rich with closet space. So this is the bedroom. So there's kind of a lot happening back here. Uh, the first and foremost is the headboard. So again, we have the custom frosted doors from the 84 Lumber Sign Shop, which I absolutely love. Yeah. Um, in here we have game storage, um, books, uh, winter clothes, things like that. Um, and then here we have what we call the headboard um, and since the length of our mattress um, wasn't the full length of the bus we wanted to kind of utilize that space in a smart way so we have power strips all along here which we can then charge all of our things right there at once which is really convenient and then we also have storage underneath here as well behind so again oh, hidden compartment with the storage we have so much storage that we honestly don't use it all so that's why I would make the closet smaller because we pretty much have a second closet here in the bedroom which mm -hmm. is amazing yeah so the next thing is our mini split Dan do you want to talk about that yeah so we got this mini split on here it's a heating and AC unit and oh, I can't remember is it a Kenmore oh I don't know well I don't know. <laughs> it's a 9,000 BTU unit and that's more than enough for the space in here. And yeah. since our bedroom is kind of closed in with the walls like this, it traps heat and cooling extremely well. Right. So we'll turn the mini split on and we'll be temperature controlled in like 10, 10 minutes. minutes. Yeah, no matter what temperature it is. So we don't run the mini split off of our solar. We could run the AC part of it for about an hour collectively uh, for mm -hmm. the day, but we don't like to stress our inverter too much. So usually we only use this when we're plugged into shore power somewhere, um, but it is incredibly efficient and works so fast. But it is a special occasion, so let's turn it on. Okay, <laughs> we'll turn it on for you guys. 
There we go. And then we just have the little digital temperature control and that's how we do it. Yeah, so it's it's a home unit. It's mm -hmm. just like you would have in your house. We have this little remote and we pick the temperature and away we go. So on this side of the bedroom, we have our television, which is completely unnecessary, but we have it and we mm -hmm. have a fire stick so we can, on rainy days, we can watch Netflix, things like that. Yeah, and it's also on a swivel, which is pretty cool. So we can swivel it out and open up this emergency exit door and have the TV outside and watching so we can have TV friends outdoors. over and watch the football game or whatever, yeah. which is pretty fun. Important things. Yes, very exactly. important things. <laughs> um, and then this is my vanity. So again, I didn't want any surface in the bus to be wasted space because usually when there's a wall or a flat surface like on the couch, it's just serving no purpose other than to just hold something. So what I did is I created this custom vanity here, which just pulls down and then I have my makeup and all of that here and I can sit on the bed in the morning and get ready so I have a moisturizer, a mirror, um, and it's great. <laughs> so we are back outside and this is of course right back into the bedroom. Um, but this is where we store our three AGM batteries, so 600 amp hours. We also have our 50 gallon fresh water, 12 gallon hot water heater, and then just general storage under the bed. So the bed is on a hinge, so when you're in the hallway you can lift it up and access more storage that way, um, and then access storage out here. And we decided to put our solar batteries in a box um, just for safety reasons, and we have it vented on the side and underneath. So back here we just have our bikes that usually just strap on right here when we're driving. We have our toolboxes and then that is the outside unit of our mini split. Yeah, so we just went with like a regular cargo uh, cargo port call it? carrier cargo port, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's welded straight through to the frame and not on a hitch mm -hmm. just so that people can't take it off the hitch and run with it. Yeah, There's that would some, be bad. Some valuable <laughs> things on it our bikes and AC unit. Yep, and then this is our just fresh water hookups. We have our fresh water here. Um, we have our 40 gallon gray, which is just a standard RV gray water tank right there. Uh, that's the vent to our Nature's Head composting toilet. Door power plug-in. Yep, that's pretty much it. And then we also have four exterior outlets in case we want to use our electric cooktop outside or need to use anything electrical outside. Yeah. So we have a YouTube channel where we do consistent vlogging, which is pretty hilarious if you want a little spice in your life about the ridiculous <laughs> adventures that we get into. Yeah. Uh, and that's Regretless on YouTube. And then my Instagram is also Regretless and Dan's Instagram. Mini goes big. Yep. Another play on words. My name's Mini. That's my last name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then our small business is called Social Point Management. We work remotely, we have a small group of clients that are small businesses, and we help them get the traction online. We do their online marketing, online advertising, social media, to help get those small businesses the traction they need to be successful, which is such an amazing thing to be a part of, just be a part of passionate people's projects. So It just goes to show that there's so many different ways to live. You know, it's not just that nine to five, you go to college, get a house, get married, have a career, go up the ladder a little bit, and that's what success is. You know, like there's just so many different ways to live. And what's a really beautiful thing about bus life um, is that you feel really connected to these people. Uh, you can find each other online, everyone looks out for each other, everyone helps each other out. Uh, when you meet them in person, you kind of skip all the crap in conversation and just get right down to like, what's your story? And I feel like the connections are so much deeper, so much faster, because I think it takes a certain kind of person to want to live tiny or want to be more sustainable or live this kind of very deliberate, intentional lifestyle. So I think that's been just one of the most beautiful things I've been able to experience on the road is just the community and the quality of people doing this. For me, it's about living intentionally, staying centered in what truly matters in this world. And I have never lived a more fulfilling life than I do right now. Yeah, I fell in love with a homeless girl. <laughs> but look at you now. <laughs> look at us now. It's really fun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Start over? Yeah. Start over.